Hello and welcome to Staying Glass Gaming, where I turn video games into glass. This time, I'll be turning the- Hey! Come back here with that. I need that for the video! You could have it when I'm finished! This is the goose from Untitled Goose Game. While I haven't played the game, I have seen videos. The goose itself is very easy to turn into stained glass. Just four pieces. Since I can't avoid making small pieces of glass, and always struggle to hold them while grinding, I bought a new tool called a Grinder Mate. It combines pliers with a grinder cookie, and will make grinding small pieces a lot easier. There are rubber pads to grip the glass, and I can either hold it by the circular grinder cookie part, or the handles. The eye is too small to make in stained glass, so I'll be trying something new. Time to fly by the seat of my pants! This will involve using copper foil applied directly onto the glass and cutting out a design. This is referred to as a copper overlay. A copper overlay is useful for creating details that would be difficult to impossible or time consuming to make in stained glass. The overlay should connect to existing foil for better stability, but I can't exactly do this with the eye, otherwise it would look weird. I've only ever done a beaded edge on flat edges on previous projects. I've avoided curved edges because I can't use the normal clamp from previous videos. I need to hold the glass with one hand while attempting to solder with the other. I use a glove to prevent solder drips from burning my fingers. This was a challenge, and it could have been better, but I'll need more practice.
All right, now it is finished. What do you think? <coughs> the foil overlay actually came out looking pretty good. I'll use this technique more in future projects. Now you can have it, but be careful you don't break it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you would like to see me make down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all through the next pain.